9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I, I'm usually not awake this time. But there's bacon. Bacon has been had. Waffles have been had. I'm here with Walcom. We're here at the Goodwill nearest my house. We're going to be hitting like 20 Goodwills, give or take. We'll see how many we actually hit before we run out of time. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some good finds. So stay tuned. Onward! Goodwill number one. Fabulous. We're going into the Goodwill outlet. I'm not going to lie. If a hobo comes at us, I'm tripping Walcom and running. I feel dirty. We didn't find anything. Except uh, well, syphilis. We a broken vigilante. It's true. And a Magnus that was dead. Uh, and the true dregs of human society. We found that too. Goodwill number three. Uh, Goodwill number four. My stuff in there too. Dead. Dump it. Ah! We got stuff. Also gummy bears, but that's neither here nor there. Goodwill number five. Urgh. And this is a duffel bag full of flag football flags. Six Lovely. bucks. Six bucks. Goodwill number six. That mace is fabulous. I look forward to the day Walcom lifts Brett off the ground with it. It will be glorious. <laughs> Goodwill number seven. Critical. Lovely. Goodwill number eight. PG. Goodwill number nine. Hooray! Store number ten, but technically it was a value village, not a Goodwill, but uh, whatever. Lovely. Here we go. Goodwill number ten. Store eleven, but Goodwill ten. He participated. He's over there. Nothing. Not a thing. There's an atomic popper and a Tech 6 and a Rebel squirt gun. That's it. The depravity. The desolation. It's, so, it's the better way. Can't even... Doesn't even have a cylinder. Uh. Goodwill number 11. Running on E. We survived the first Goodwill outlet. We're going into another one. We're tempting fate. If we get eaten, we had it coming. Goodbye. Goodwill number 12. Got a very nice tactical backpack. And we didn't get eaten by hobos, so. I ate a hobo. He ate a hobo. Is there good eating on a hobo? I figured they'd be kind of stringy. Ah, chemicals make up for it. Fair enough, fair enough. Goodwill number 12. Nothing. Not a sausage. Goodwill number 13. Shove it. Shove it in there. The 14th and final Goodwill. I am not impressed. All right, we ended up hitting 14 Goodwills and one Value Village, so 15 all together, and then we lost the will to live, so we came home. Uh, so let's go through what all we got. Starting at the top, Walcom picked up this. CPS 2500, or no, CPS 1200. Uh, I got a Zombie Strike Long Shot. Oh, let's see, Walcom picked up another squirt gun. Walcom picked up a Flip Fury. Uh, he also grabbed himself a Barbarian in excellent condition. We both ended up with uh, Eliminators. We found this on the floor near the checkout stand of a Goodwill. Someone had apparently changed their mind. Their child probably shot them with it and they decided they couldn't have it, but uh, it's in my color, so I had to have it. Welcome, picked up a chainsaw. I picked up this thing. I plan to check it for K26. I got a disruptor. Uh, Walcom picked up a predator. Here's my jammed eliminator. Found a stormfire. Walcom picked up one remote control BB-8. I picked up this, and you have you know what I'm gonna do with this, and it's going to be amazing. I did pick up a lawbringer with darts. Walcom picked up a quick 16. He also set out one of the things that he said he absolutely wanted to find were some big. Um, shin guards, and he wanted ones that were a little bit more square and less rounded, and we found these that have much square, it's all, they're also huge. I hope they fit. Right? So, they ought to, they ought to look, go nicely. 
Uh, I found a cyclone shock. This was one of the few things that I mentioned that I actually wanted to find, so happy about that. And I found a messenger. Welcome, picked up a squirt gun. I did pick up this persuader. Picked up this on a previous Goodwill run, but it was still in the bin, so. Uh, found this thing. I picked up this Spider Man squirt gun, and it's pretty nifty. It primes, this is what fills up the tank, and then you pull the trigger. Walcom apparently picked up this. I don't remember him doing that. Uh, I picked up this Spy Gears rocket launcher at a previous Goodwill run. I found two more of the hot potato rockets. I think I've got like 15 of them now. Wow. I have plans. I snagged this. Walcom hesitated and I took it. So now I've got a blue one and a red one. I only have the red stock. I don't have the blue stock, but I picked up this little thing. Apparently Walcom just did a tag back on it, which I'm gonna have to... Apparently he gave me one of the rockets for it. Yes. Because you were like, I can fire everything, and I gave you a blue rocket for one of those. Oh. Find your bin of stuff you shoot out of ire. Yeah. Okay, we also have a couple of things that weren't in the bin. Um, Walcom picked up... Oh, God! Oh, God. The Nerf Skeet Trap Shooter. And then last but not least is your Wampum Stick. Oh, this was one. <laughs> we saw this. I decided to get it, or he again passed on it, I decided to get it, and then he decided he, he had to have it. And I decided that he needed to have it, so I, I let him go ahead and grab it. And it's this giant foam square bat thing with a molding grip. We have no idea what this is for. Um, it's made in China. There's a shock. Uh, I, we assume it's some sort of a martial arts training tool, we're just not sure what. Um, but he's gonna use it as a melee weapon because it's super soft. I mean, you could absolutely wail on someone with this and it wouldn't hurt him. It might, you know, knock him sideways, but it's not gonna hurt. Uh, and I, I look forward to uh, Walcom lifting Brett off the ground with this thing at some point, so. Thank you, Daddy Xavier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, somebody in one of the Goodwills thought he was my son, which is... <laughs> Makes me feel old. It's because I'm wearing the special hoodie. It does. The hoodie and makes him look like a high school kid, and my beard makes me look like an old man, so. 